Okay, this how-to video is going to go through um, showing the, the Cadence Allegro PCB Designer with miniaturization option for embedded components. And what this is going to do is give you the ability to actually start to embed components and place footprints and, and route to footprints on inner layers of the PCB. So if you imagine in a cross section you want to kind of actually physically mount components on one of the internal layers and then clear the dielectric um, to create a cavity space. So the way we would do this is there's a, some default settings we need to set up first. So if we go to Constraint Manager and we look at the, the Properties tab and then Component General Properties, we've got an option if we're using the Allegro PCB Design License. So um, with Allegro, Change Editor, with the Miniaturization option, we now get an option to decide which layer the components, so there's, a, there's a, uh, an embedded layer placement location which which where we want to put components from a placement point of view so for the capacitors I'm just going to select all the capacitors here and then what we'll do is we can either have them required which is uh, specifically they must be on an internal layer optional means that it's up to you and then external only for externally based components so I'm going to have these as optional for the capacitors and from a resistor point of view I'm just going to set the resistors up so the resistors are required just so you can see the differences once that's done, um, I then need to set up the, the cross section and, and tell PCB editor or a leg, uh, which which layers we're going to use. So we've got a setup embedded layer setup, and here we can actually start to say where we want the layers to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, signal layer three as an embedded up. So we want um, we can either have body up, body up or body down. Obviously the direction of the component which where it's going to face. And then we've got not embedded for layers that aren't embedded and um, protruding allowed, which means that if we're going to the, the, the height of the component is going to be taller than the dielectric in between. You can obviously allow protruding between that. So we're going to go body down for SIG layer 3 and we're going to go body up for SIG layer 6 and then we'll allow protruding on the two inner layers between and you'll see we kind of get a graphical implementation of the layers changing here. And then we've got different attach methods. So so for the the components that are embedded we can either directly attach them which is effectively means that they're going to be soldered directly onto an internal layer um, or there's an indirect attach where you could effectively float it in the dielectric and then drill a hole in to try and make the connection that way. I think direct attach is the most common one, but you'd need to talk to your fabricator if they're going to offer embedded components to see what they're allowed. Once we've done that, we can add things like there's a, there's a height buffer to allow. So this looks at the component height that's specified and then adds a margin. We can specify the distance to the cavity. So obviously the clearance for cavity and the merging. If, it, if it's going to have a, a if you put a cavity next to another so two components very very close the cavity around that you want to make sure whether they're going to allow for merging or not and then when you place components it's automatically going to add things like a via keep out and a root keep out um, so we'll add a distance for those okay that then sets up the cross section so now when we go place manually for example um, we obviously get the embedded option next to the components, different different graphical representations for whether it's um, required or not. When I select the component, by default that's going to come in on the placement layer that I've got selected. But if I do a right mouse button, I can place on layer and I've got different options for how they're going to be placed. So if I pick signal layer 3 and put signal layer 3 down, now you can see I'm obviously getting the component on, on signal layer 3. I'm getting a via keep out and a root keep out to stop me doing anything in that area. If we actually turn on the, the 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 colors and we'll look at the cavities, so let's just uh, put a couple of colors on the cavities. These are the two inner layers. Let's just turn that one on. You can see obviously it's going to create a clearance in the component in the cavity in the dielectric, so I can then work out from a clearance point of view. So that's the start of kind of the embedded components about placing components on inner layers. You can also use place quick place um, we can place by a property value and actually use an embedded placement um, so if I have the optional components I can pick the layer that I want these components to go on let's put them onto layer 6 let's just put them on the top of the board and hit place and if we zoom out you'll see all these components then get placed on signal layer 6 using the quick place command 